presentation early. I put in a good word for you with the chief exec too, so don't let me down. If you nail it tomorrow, you'll be joining us on the management team. See ya. Next message. Hi, babes. I'm waiting late tomorrow, so I'll meet you at the restaurant. Looking forward to our anniversary meal. Love you loads. End of message. Man, I missed your beautiful face. Felix, I thought you were in Thailand. I just got back, flew in from Bangkok. <laughs> All right, come in. I've had an amazing time, but it's great to be here and back up north with my best pal on planet. I don't think I've seen you since graduation. Yeah, um, things got pretty sketchy out there. I got embroiled with the Ladyboy Mafia. Long story. <laughs> You're not fancy stopping off in London first, see your folks. Oh, we're not really speaking. They cut off my allowance, which is why I'm here. I thought I'd take you up on your kind offer. My offer? Yeah, when we graduated, you just landed your internship, started renting this place, and you said that there would always be a room here for me once I returned from my travels. Felix, that was over 18 months ago, and I could barely stand you to the amount of alcohol I'd consumed. That's what I'm talking about, the good old days. Lock up your daughters. The P-Man and F-Bomb are back on the scene, partying all night, sleeping all day, and only waking up to watch Holmes under the hammer. I don't think it's going to work, pal. I've got a girlfriend now. It's our anniversary tomorrow, and I'm thinking about asking to move in with me. But you promised. I'm sorry, Felix. We've shared so much. Good times. Bad times. Shared other things too. Olivia Johnson. That was a wild night. We were literally in her at the same time. Once two people establish that kind of relationship, it's a bond that can never be broken. Look, I don't know. Come on, let's hit the pub. I'm dying for a British pint. I have missed this place. What are you doing? I told you I was only staying for one. And not forgetting, Sambuca shots. I'm serious, Felix. I don't want to mess up tomorrow. And then maybe later we can partake in some of Southeast Asia's Finest narcotics. Jesus, Felix, put them away. All right, chill out. So, everything going well with the job then, mate? Yeah, great, cheers, pal. Um, after the first six months, they offered me a permanent contract. After the first year, I was a team leader. <laughs> if I nail this presentation tomorrow, I'm going to be on the regional management team. <sighs> when did you get so boring? Just grown up, mate. You should too. You're 23, not 53. Live a little. Come on. Ugh. The apprentice is now the master. Call yourself a northerner. Thought I was supposed to be the southern softie. I bet I could drink you under the table now. I don't think so. Yeah, she blows. The prodigal son returns. What time is it? About ten. Oh, thank God. I can still have time for a shower. I can get to the office, set up the presentation. Okay. What did we get up to last night? Last night was a club, followed by a house party. I can only remember being at the pub. That was Wednesday night. 
Wednesday? What? We've been on one of our legendary two-day benders. What day is it today? Friday. What? Oh, by the way, you left your phone at the house party. I picked it up for you. I think you've got a couple of messages. You have two new messages. Wait, what the hell happened to you? Because you didn't turn up, we've had to give the job to Paul. You made a right mug at me in front of the chief exec. You better have a good excuse for not turning up. Next message. Hey, I waited for an hour for you in the restaurant. Do you have any idea how embarrassing that was? Are you ever going to call me and apologise? Well, forget it. I don't ever want to hear from you again. You're such a dickhead. End of message. Come on, fella. Let's take a seat. Still got me. What time is it? Yes! Home's under the hammer.